So it, <clears throat> it came to my attention that, you know, this is an LED fan, it looks beautiful, honestly it doesn't make a lot of noise. But what if somebody wanted the ultimate experience? You know, they wanted to buy the Kingpin heatsink paste. They want to put on the quiet fan. Um, then you're going to want this Noctua fan, which is basically totally quiet. Like, very, very quiet. So, um, what we want to do is replace this fan with this fan right here. And uh, it should be pretty easy to do, I just have some excess wire here. But um, it's interesting that this ice tower case, the new model just has these little hinges on it. So I imagine I can unhinge this hopefully without breaking anything. Yeah. Okay, got one. Ugh. Hopefully I don't break anything here. Okay, I got two. I imagine if I get two, I can get the rest. Just swing these ones up. Okay. Now this, ah, that's an interesting design. It just kind of hatches over there. Go ahead and actually turn on the pie really quick. And I actually want to share with you the, the sound difference. So I want it to go like that, downwards. But uh, here's, the, here's the difference. Here's this fan. Right up to the mic. You can absolutely hear it. And now here is the quiet fan. Let's go ahead and unplug the color changing fan. You can't hear nothing. You don't hear nothing. So I actually want it to go this way. If you want it to spray down onto the kit. And to be honest, it's actually going to be a lot easier if I took off the case. It's kind of a genius little way of putting it on. It's really easy, really simple. All right, it's on. That was really simple. Okay. And now we just got screwed all back on there. Now we just want to tuck the wires around. Luckily, this is a huge case. We can just wrap them a few times. Put back on the top. Screw this on. And we should be rocking and rolling in just a second. Okay. Here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and test it out. But there you go. With the new fan. No more LED lights. Just serious pie business now. It's going to be cool. I already have my SD card in there. We still got the ports. Let's go. All right, so here we are already at 32 degrees. Okay, so not too 31 yet. It doesn't, it doesn't quite push as much air, but still plenty good, everyone. Plenty good. And you don't hear, a, you hear my keyboard, but you're not gonna hear a word from this fan, a peep. So let's go ahead and max out the cores. And I mean, this thing will heat up. I, if I'm to guess, we can probably get it up to close to 40 and it's gonna start kind of, you know, slight, it's going down from there. The fact that it still has the fan, it's gonna cool down over time, especially after these big loads. So I, uh, I think it's gonna be great and you know, you can't hear a single thing from this thing. It's absolutely quiet. Not a single peep. Here, I'm gonna, here's the microphone. Your microphone is on top of the fan right there. You can't hear, it's gonna pick up something. This microphone is very sensitive. Yeah, it's a condenser mic. Picks up a lot of stuff. Not a single peep. Okay, this should be done in just a second. I'm gonna run it back. I'm just gonna do a quick temp uh, measure the temp and then I'm going to go for it again because I want to really kind of warm this thing up I don't want to give it time to recuperate that temperature If you if I'm not going to overclock in this video If you check out my other videos though, I overclock overclocking you're, you're going to expect two to three degrees more The other thing is if you use maybe a generic heatsink pace you might get about two to four degrees more as well That's the kind of difference you're going to get in those those small um, tweaks 
And remember, the Raspberry Pi needs to get over, you know, 75, 80 degrees before it starts throttling. But uh, here we are, we're only, you know, five, 10 minutes into it. So I think it's still good to see how this thing's gonna, you know, manage if you're gaming on it or you're using it and it's just running, you know, it's running some sort of rendering or whatever you're doing, you need it to be able to be at max, you know, max performance while not overheating. So this is a good test for that. So we went, uh, we started at 33, 32, uh, it then went down to around 31. And then uh, we hit this, we got it up to 35 the first time. But the second time we only got up to 34. So you can see it's already kind of plateauing at 34, 35 degrees as the max temp. And for those of you that follow my channel, this is pr probably in the top five solutions. But of those top five solutions, it's in the top one or two as far as performance to volume. And then the other thing to note is fans do go out, but these fans, you know, the bearings, the, the fins on it, like these are these fans, like everything about them are engineered for just maximum quality. So I would feel a lot more comfortable with this fan than a generic fan that you get with a lot of these Raspberry Pi cases. But you never know. Some fans will last a lifetime. Some fans last a day or two. It's kind of the luck of the draw but this would give you some ease of mind. All right, so 36, okay. So we were able to do it up to 36, but look, we're already getting 35. And shortly here, we should get 34. Especially with some time. I imagine 34, 34, no? Okay, so it's taking it's staying up there. There we go. We got a 34. All right, we're starting to see 34s. Okay, whatever the case is, this thing started out at 32 degrees. We were only able to bump it up four degrees in that little bit amount of time. You're gonna, you're not gonna be able to get it up to 70 or 80 degrees without something super crazy. With all that said, love the case, love the upgrade. If you can afford it, it is very, very nice. I'll put links in the description to everything we spoke about. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.